Hello guys. I'm Handy and welcome to my very first video here in Thehand Job. Well, actually my very first boring unboxing video. First of all, I'm sorry for having a robotic voice, but please bear with me. Without further ado, we will begin to unbox our 10 inches dot pad tablet or the dot pad Pomelo Max Plus 2019 edition. By the way, I bought this for 3,900 pesos or 75 US dollars from a local seller. You can also buy this item from online shopping sites ranging from 3,000 pesos to 4,000 pesos. My dot pad comes in a yellow green box, very sturdy with smooth feel finish. Very nice packaging in my opinion. Let's see first what's inside the box. This tablet comes with a 2.0 USB data connector for transferring files. I guess this measure for about 10 inches long. Next it has a free 3.5mm stereo headset. Well, at first glance, I think this is not durable enough, hope it will last. It also comes with a micro USB charging adapter measuring for one and a half feet long. This looks pretty good for me. The box says it also comes with an OTG cable, but there is none here. Maybe the local seller just picked it up and sold it for a different price. So I advise you to check the box very carefully and don't repeat my mistake. But, good heavens, thanks that the free case is here. A free and well-made case crafted only for this tablet made up of plastic and leather cover. I also got this stubborn warranty card that I may not be able to use, well it's because the local seller has his own rules of claiming warranty. It also comes with a manual booklet, that I will probably read if there is something wrong with the product. So again let's take those papers aside. Let's go to the much-awaited tablet itself. As you can see, there is also a free screen protector. Let's put on the case, and teach this tab how to stand. Let's turn this tablet on. The on off and volume buttons are here at the top right side of the tablet when in landscape orientation. As of testing this tablet, the boot takes for almost a minute to switch up. This tab has a 6000 mAh lithium ion battery. When it comes to responsiveness, it is quite smooth. The specifications say this has a 10 inches liquid crystal display with full 1280 by 800 IPS or in-plane switching monitors or leverage liquid crystals aligned in parallel to produce rich colors, also with 10 point multi-touch capacitive touch screen. This tablet has a 1.3 GHz quad-core processor, 1 GB random access memory, 16 GB internal memory that can be expanded up to 72 GB. This also comes with 360 degree 3 way G sensors. Connects with Wi Fi and Bluetooth. You can also use data pack from your network provider because this tab has two SIM card slots. This is pretty good for playing simple games, but when it comes to playing games with HD graphics, the device performs slower. By the way, the operating system of this device is Android 6.0 or Marshmallow. Watching movie and listening to music using this device is also pretty good. It supports full 1080p HD videos slash MP3, VMA, APE, FLAC, OOG, and WAV formats. You can also listen to FM radio because it responds to 20Hz up to 2000Hz frequencies. 
This device has 2 megapixel front camera and 5 megapixel rear camera with flash. If you are wondering about the resolution well, I took some photos and videos for you to see. Here are some of the photos and videos taken with its rear camera. Now here are the photos from its front camera. Well for its price, this tablet is pretty reasonable. 10 inches tab with SIM slot is like having a Samsung Tab A, setting aside some specs like larger random access memory, S Pen and some sorts like the branding maybe. Well, that's all for now. I hope I did help you in deciding whether to buy a tablet like this or not. If you loved this video please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Again, I'm sorry for my robotic voice, it made the video boring, but thank you for listening. Again, this is Handy and this is The Hand Job.